Hello, welcome to the Get Revising Study Planner. The Study Planner has a lot of great features to help you organise your time, but for now we're going to show you the basics to help you get started. So from the home page on the main menu, we click through to the Study Planner and a pop-up will appear. So here you need to start by entering the subjects you're studying. And if you're not sure of your exam board, just ask your teacher, they'll be able to help you. You can add as many subjects as you need to. And you can see it below here, as you're entering the subjects, it's coming up with exams for you. If you're not sure of your exam dates, don't worry, you can come back and edit this later. Always make sure you check the dates with your teacher so you know you've got the right ones. So for now, we're just going to save and continue. And you can see it'll come up with your exams for you to confirm. Again, you can come back and edit this later. Now, we need to know when you can't study, so you might not want to study before 9 in the morning. And let's say I don't want to study after 9 in the evening. And I also never want to study Sunday morning and let's say Saturday afternoon. You also need to make sure that your school times are here so we don't st set study sessions when you're at school. Now, it'll come up with the maximum hours you have available to study but you might not want to use all of them. And you can now choose how to prioritise your time. So if I'm really good at biology, I might not want to spend as much time on that. And I want to spend a bit more time on my English language and my French. And now you can see on the study planner, it's entered in all your school time and it's set a lot of study sessions for you. It might look like a lot at the moment, but you still need to add your other activities and commitments. You can do this by clicking on the green commitments button. And this could be anything from your mum's birthday to maybe part-time job. We're going to put football practice in. And I have this every Wednesday evening for two hours. And that's weekly. And I'm going to make that a nice bright colour. You can set up notifications for this, so I might want to be notified one hour before by private message to remind me. And there you can see it's added in the football practice and it's removed those study sessions from that time. Now if you have a deadline that may be coursework or an essay to be handed in, you can add that too by clicking on the red deadlines box. Let's say I have a biology essay. And that's due in on Friday morning. So I want to start working on that really on Monday. And you can choose how many hours you want to spend on this. Again, best to ask your teacher because it'll vary according to the work. And you can see here it's put in the essay when it needs to be handed in and it's also added in some time when you need to be working on that. Now you might want to have extra exams to be added in. So if you click the yellow exam box, you can choose what that is. So perhaps I have an English language exam on Wednesday afternoon. And that's quite soon, so I'd like to start revising on Saturday for that. And so here we can see it's got the English language exam and it's put in plenty of time for me to get ready for that. If you want to add a deadline or a study session or a commitment or exam quickly, you can click on the time you want it and just click on the icon. So if you wanted to add a commitment just to that time, you can put that in quickly there. Now, once you're happy with your study planner, you can print this and that's just by clicking on printable PDF here. And there it is, so you can stick it on your wall or you can take it with you to school, whatever you need to do. And there you have it, your very own study planner.